try not to get frustrated. Just trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding and acknowledge Him in all of your ways and He shall direct your path. I do believe that something significant is going on in this life on, in the church today. I do believe that God is raising up a remnant of people and an army who's going to deal with pure truth. I do believe that. I believe that the day of the, of the praise dance has passed us. Amen? I believe the day when you go to church just to praise and see what our dance one another. I believe that day has passed us. I believe the day of a good church service has passed us at the point. I believe that God is ushering his church deeper, deeper, deeper into his kingdom. I was going to take the word of truth. Amen. I had a pastor tell me the other day, yesterday I think it was, Amen. What you speaking is true. It's just hard on, on, on the airs of religion. But he said it's like gold. He said you can burn it, it's still the truth. You can trample on it, it's still the truth. No matter what you do with gold, gold is still gold. And that was a great revelation that helped me a lot. So what you're receiving right now, what you're getting right now, people are really hungry for. Amen? So I want you to be encouraged that you are you are an enemy of the, of the enemy. Somebody say amen. And he's, he's going to be angry at you. He's going to everything that God allows him to use against you. He's going to use it. Amen? So let us pray. Father, we are grateful, amen, to be here tonight, to hear your word, to hear, to receive the, the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Certainly grateful that you chose us under this. We thank you for your presence. We thank you, Father, to, tonight for the, the power of the Holy Spirit for everybody who gathered here tonight according to that good purpose that you have for us tonight. So we receive with the fullness of Jesus Christ right now through the power of the Holy Ghost for these next 30 minutes as we deliver this word. If you're blessed, say amen. amen. If you agree, say amen. 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 I want you to sit down for a minute. I'm going to run through this and uh, then we we'll have a meeting. There's some things that we must deal with. Amen. That has to be dealt with. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. amen. We we talking about living in the, in the love and the rest of God and, on, and with all the stuff that's been on here on Sunday, the word that come forth. Amen. And we are talking about in, in his rest. If you're in his rest, you're already forgiven. You already have victory. You're already accepted. You have access. You have peace. You have justification. You have authority. You have power. Everything that Jesus gave you, when you in him, the Bible says in him, we live and move and have our breathe and our being. Everything that we have in him has already been given. And if I could just get the church to receive this, that what you, what God did for you in Jesus is already done. Whatever the Bible says that you have, you already have it. The, the, listen, the covenant, the Lord revealed this to me. The covenant, the reason why we struggle with this covenant is because it's written for people who are resting in Christ. When you rest in Christ, the world becomes different to you. The whole world becomes different. The Bible says all things become new. Because if you're resting in the finished work of God, if you know that you're accepted, you know that you're already saved, you ain't trying to be saved, you ain't trying to please nobody. If you know that you have power to overcome all things, to be a witness unto Jesus Christ, if you know that you're already holy, you're already righteous, if you already know those things that you have, in, you have peace with God, he'll never be mad with you. When you know those things, when you know those things and you receive those things, the word becomes different. Because the word was written for people in the rest of God. The word was not written to try to get you saved. The covenant, the new covenant was written for those who are saved. So when the when, 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 when word comes to you, it's not trying to get you saved. Once you confess with your mother, Lord Jesus, believe in your heart, God raised from the dead, you're already saved. So if you read the word with the fact that I ain't trying to do nothing, I'm just trying to accept what I have, it changes the whole word for you. I wish somebody get that. Because I, I learned this week, then that when I'm resting in God, this whole word becomes different because I ain't trying to qualify for nothing. So I'm not, I'm not reading this from the point of defeat. And trying to measure up. I'm reading it from the place where I already have victory. Thanks be unto God who will give me the victory. So no matter what I face, I already have victory. I was telling my wife in the car coming over here just as the stuff and I got the word about the music system and all the things that they changed. And I, and I was telling them nothing just happens. You know, this is not a time to get frustrated. I'm not going to get angry. What I'm going to look at, what is God doing here? What is he saying to me here? Because they, this didn't just happen because they had a bad day. Or they trying to do something evil. This happened because it's been ordained. You have to look at life that way. It's going to make your life easy. So no matter what you look into, you're in the rest of God. So you are walking in good works which God before ordained. Your pains have been ordained. Your victories have been ordained. What you call defeat, they've been ordained because there is no defeat in Christ. Somebody say amen. You may look at the favor, but there is no fear in God. 
So no matter what you do, it's already ordained. If you trust that the Holy Ghost is guiding you into your truth. So wherever you end up, he took you there. Y'all ain't ready for this right here. So if I know that, no matter where I end up, no matter, uh, I have two different lunches today, and you know, that's not something that I really don't, I don't like doing on days that I'm supposed to speak. But I know it had to happen because I tried to cancel